So you want to know the best way to play with the Spanish club Real Madrid? Well, that's great because in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get the best out of this team. All in my opinion, of course. My name is Mark. I'm going to show you the formation, the lineup, the tactics and the instructions and also a full set of game plans that you can use during specific situations during a match. If you are leading and your opponent is giving you some heavy pressure, trying to score goals, then you want some defensive formation. I'm going to show you that. But if you need to score some goals, when you are behind and you are almost at the end of the match, then you need a really attacking formation. I'm also having that for you. So watch the whole video, try it out yourself, set up everything the same like I did. Try it out yourself for at least five matches. And after these five matches, please promise me that you will come back to this video and you are going to comment how you did let's make that deal before i begin i would really appreciate it if you would leave a like it will help my channel to grow and rank my videos higher on youtube and if you're new to the channel i want to find your way back really easy make sure you are subscribed with notifications on i'm doing lots of videos like this also for other clubs I'm doing tutorial videos tactic videos all kind of stuff also an rtg and ultimate team so Let's start with the formation for Real Madrid and it is the 4-3-3 false number 9 formation. Um, we are starting with the goalkeeper Courtois of course, then we have Militao as a right defender, Rudiger, Alaba are the center backs and Mendy is the left defender. Chouameni is the central defensive midfielder, Modric and Valverde are the central midfielders, Rodrigo the right winger, Benzema the central forward, and Vinicius Jr. the left winger. Uh, then we're going to the tactics for this one. This is the first formation. This is the one that you are starting with during a match, just around 50 minutes or something, checking out what your opponent is doing, how good he is, how he is playing. And if it's going good, you can still use this after these five, 50 minutes, of course, because when it's going good, why should you change? But sometimes you have the feeling I'm better than my opponent, but it's hard to create some good chances. Then you're going to play a bit more attacking or you think, well, my opponent is a bit better than me. Then you're playing a bit more defensive, maybe some counter attack football stuff like that. But this one is just the first one to start with. Uh, the defensive style is balanced, uh, 45 width, 45 depth. Build-up play is also balanced. Chance creation on direct passing. The width is 50, plays in the box, four bars, corners and free kicks, both two bars. So nothing special here, just a pretty default formation to start with. Then the right defender, the instructions stay back while attacking. Uh, Rudiger and Alaba are default and Mendy the same like Militao stay back while attacking. Then we're going to Chouameni the defensive midfielder cut passing lanes stay back while attacking. Uh, then we have Modric he is just default didn't change anything. The same for Valverde just default. Uh, Rodrigo only thing I changed for him is chance creation on the free roam. Uh, Benzema only thing I have for him is stay forward and Vinicius Jr free roam and get in behind all right this is the formation that you want to start with after that uh, i'm going to show you the more attacking formation if you think i'm a bit better than my opponent but it's hard to create chances then you can switch to this one it's the same formation the 4-3-3 uh number nine same uh, same lineup sorry the tactics are a bit different press after possession loss so when you are losing the ball your players are going to press and try to get the ball back as soon as possible and um, yeah lots of players that you are playing against uh, are not that good to play around these pressure football some are of course but not everybody can do that so you can try this out uh, you are playing higher on the pitch with 60 on depth uh, the width is still 45 so higher on the pitch some pressure if you lose the ball try to recover it as soon as possible and yeah maybe you can go attack really fast again um the build up play is long ball so a bit difference there chance creation on direct passing still the width is 30 plays in the box five bars corners and free kicks both two bars the instructions stay back while attacking uh, for both, uh, and for Militao, sorry, Mendy, uh, balanced attack and overlap run type, so he can go forward if he wants. He's a really good attacking uh, fullback, of course. Uh, what that will do, uh, 
uh, when Mandy is going forward and Militao is staying back, then Alaba is going a bit more to the left, Rudiger is going a bit more to the left, and also Militao is going a bit more to the left. So you are basically playing with three defenders on that time. But Mandy is still playing as a left defender, so when you lose the ball, he will come back and play as a left defender, and then you are with uh, four defenders. And yeah, but when he is really high on the pitch, then these three guys are playing more like a three defender formation. So keep that a bit in mind. Uh, then we are going to Chuameni cut passing lanes, drop between the defenders and deep lying playmaker. So when you have the ball, Mendy go forward. You have Alaba here, you have Rudiger here. Chuameni will go a bit back drop between the defenders so you have three center backs and Militao is still over there so you have a bit variation in the build-up with this one uh, then we're going to uh, Modric stay on the edge of the box for the cross is the only thing I changed in this one uh, Valverde is just default so it didn't change anything Rodrigo still on free roam Benzema still on stay forward and Vinicius Jr free roam and get in behind all right then we're going to the uh, other formation this is the defensive formation and this is just a another formation not more attacking not more defensive but just another formation sometimes you have that during a match that you are with the formation that you are playing it's hard to create chances and yeah, then you need something different, not more attacking, not more defensive, but just different to see if that is working. So that is when you are choosing this formation. It's the 4-1-2-1-2 small formation, as you can see here, the narrow formation, I need to say. Um, let's go back to the lineup. The defense is the same, the midfield is the same, only Rodrigo is playing as an attacking midfielder, not as a right winger. And Benzema and Vinicius Jr. are playing as the strikers. Uh, then we're going to the tactics for this one. Balanced, the width is 50, the depth is 50, just a bit wider than the other formation because this is a pretty narrow formation itself. So that's why I'm putting it a bit wider uh, build a play balanced chance creation on direct passing the width is 50 plays in the box five bars corners of free kicks both two bars then the instructions uh the right defender stay back while attacking the center backs default and mandy left defender stay back while attacking chuameni good passing lane stay back while attacking and cover center for this one modric uh, he's just default valverde the same just default rodrigo uh stay forward it's the only thing i changed for him benzema stay forward and Vinicius jr get in behind and stay forward all right then we're going to the most attacking formation this is the one that you are choosing when you really need to score goals you are far in the second half maybe you are behind your opponent is leading or you just even it's a draw and you want to score some goals to win the match then you can switch to this one i would not recommend to switch to this one from the beginning because it is a bit attacking and a bit weak on the defense but this is just when you need to score goals it's a 3-5-2 formation we're playing with militao rudiger and alaba as the center backs of course uh valverde chuameni are the central defensive midfielders Rodrigo is the right midfielder, Mendy the left one, Modric is playing as the attacking midfielder, Benzema and Vinicius Jr. are the strikers. Then we're going to the tactics for this one. Uh, press after possession loss, with the width of 50 and a depth of 75, so really, really high on the pitch. Pressure if you lose the ball. I don't choose constant pressure, lots of people are doing that, but I don't like constant pressure because your players are getting really, really tired and that's not what you want especially not at the end of the match because you want to score some goals because if your playing is really tired then his passing is going to be awful his shooting is going to be awful his dribbling is going to be awful so you don't want your players to get that tired that much and also if your opponent is good enough to play around your pressure then you're lost because you're only playing with three defenders you're playing really attacking and he can counter attack and then you're gone so Press after possession loss, just a few seconds after you lost the ball, you're gonna uh, play some pressure. If you have the ball in that moment, 
they can build up another attack of course and if you don't then the players are going back and defend the normal way all right build up play is fast build up direct passing on chance creation the width is 40 plays in the box seven bars so really much corners are free kicks normally i would not recommend to put this on on three or higher because you are really weak on the counter attack but we need to score goals with this formation so that's why i'm using them on four bars then we're going to the instructions all center backs are just default valverde uh he's just default juameni could passing lane stay back while attacking so he's the most defensive midfielder come back on the fence and stay wide for rodrigo the same for mendy come back on the fence and stay wide modric stay forward is the only thing I changed for him. Benzema, default, oh, right, to stay forward is the only thing I changed. Sorry, not default. Only stay forward and Vinicius Jr. get in behind and stay forward. Uh, then we are going to the most defensive formation. That's the 5-3-2 holding formation. Uh, as always, this is the one that I like the, much, uh, the, the most, I need to say. Uh, when I need to defend my lead and my opponent is playing some heavy pressure football, trying to score goals, and I'm switching to this one. Uh, five defenders with uh, Valverde on the right side, Militao, Rudiger, and Alaba are the center backs, and Mendy is the left defender. Um, Chouameni, the most defensive midfielder, Modric and Rodrigo are the central midfielders, Benzema and Vinicius Jr are the strikers uh ideal you want to change rodrigo for a more central midfielder like kamavinga or maybe Kroos. Kroos is a bit slow and he's good at passing not really good at defending so i would recommend to put in kamavinga um, but if you like Kroos, you could put him in as well of course uh, then we're going to the tactics for this formation and that is drop back of course on defensive style because you want everybody to come back the width and the depth both 40 i would not recommend to go lower than 35 i already said that a lot of time if you're going around 35 or lower your defense will be there and then it's very easy for your opponent to shoot from distance because your defenders are not blocking it you only have your central defensive midfielder around here and yeah shooting from distance can also be a goal of course especially with the travella shots if your opponent is really good at shooting from distance then it's easy to score goals so i would not recommend to go lower than 35 but 40 is good for me uh, what that does is that your defenders are a bit here and when your opponent nine out of ten times when he's shooting from distance is just outside the 18 yard box then your defenders are able to block that and uh, yeah then it's way harder to score goals from distance all right the build-up is on balance chance creation is balanced the width is 50 plays in the box three bars corners free kicks both one bar then the instructions uh right defender stay back while attacking and overlap run type uh center backs are all default the same for mandy as valverde stay back while attacking and overlap run type Chouameni, cut passing lane, stay back while attacking um, and cover center. Modric, just default. Rodrigo, just default. Benzema is on comeback on defense. And Vinicius Jr., drift wide, getting behind to stay forward. So Vinicius Jr. is the only player that is staying forward. And that what he will do when you have the ball, try to keep the ball as long in your squad as possible. Just pass it around. Try to take some extra time and yeah, nine out of 10 times when you are switching to this defensive formation, it's around uh, 75, 80 minutes. So please try to take your time and uh, yeah, keep the ball in your squad. But sometimes when your opponent is putting some heavy pressure on you, then there is some space behind the defense. If Vinicius Jr. is the only one who's staying forward, he is pretty fast, of course, and he is keeping one or maybe two center backs with him so they are not going forward that is a big plus from the stay forward for one player and with his runnings with, with his runs drifting wide sometimes he will go left sometimes he will go right when you have the ball sometimes he's just going through the middle look at him look at the mini map if he's not in your screen look at the mini map what runs he is making and if he is running into a free space where no defender is give him a high ball a, a through ball or something <coughs> and try 
to create a really good counter attack for yourself. So keep that in mind when you have the ball, watch Vinicius Jr. what he's doing and yeah, use it if you can. All right, this is it. This is the end of this video. If you try it out yourself, please let me know in the comments after around five matches what you think of these formations and what your results were. I'm really curious about that. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Bye bye.